This IX instruction video will present how data logging and trends are configured. We will start by adding a data logger to the application. Click on the Insert tab in the ribbon menu and select Data Logger. Adding log items allows you to select which tags you want to monitor and saves them in the database. By renaming the log item, it's easier to read and understand the database's content. The tag you wish to monitor needs to be selected. In this example, we choose Tank Level 1. The same steps are repeated for the second log item. In this case, the tag called Valve is selected. Click on the Settings button. A configuration dialog will appear. In this dialog, you are able to configure how often the tag values should be stored in the database. We select 1 second. The max number of logged rows is changed to 3,600, which means that we will have a rolling one-hour history. The data logger is now configured and will collect data when the application is running. In order to visualize the data logger, we need to add a trend viewer object. Select the trend viewer object and add it to the screen. We increase the font size so it's easier to read. In the General Ribbon tab, you can select the style to your personal preference. For this example, we select Chrome. Click on Edit Curves. Here we can define which tags and or data logger items to be displayed in the viewer. Each curve is connected to a log item. The valve status is a Boolean value. It can either be 0 or 1. By configuring an expression, we can add an offset and gain for the curve. Click on New and give the expression a name. Type in a logical expression. In this case, value times 10 plus 30. This means an amplitude of 10 with an offset of 30. We change the color of the second curve to blue. By clicking on the Trend Dynamics button, we can choose the tags that control the scales min and max values. The scales minimum property is connected to a tag min. The design time value is set to zero. The scales maximum property is connected to tag max. The design time value is set to 100. Finally, the time span property is connected to tag time span. The screen has been prepared with three buttons, a touch combo box, and two analog numeric objects. We'll configure the first button to execute a trend viewer history action. We also need to select which trend viewer the action should be applied to from the dropdown. For this example, we want to show a dialog. This will allow the operator to define the time range that he or she wants to examine. We configure the second button to leave the historical mode. The third button will open a legend window so we can assign the Show Trend Viewer Legend action to the button. In the middle, we have a Touch Combo Box object. This will allow the operator to select a time range in the viewer. Click on the General Ribbon tab, followed by Configure Texts. Connect the tag called Time Span to the object. Click on the Add button and add the first text. 10 seconds. The start and end value should be set to 10. Add another row and write 30 seconds. The start and end value should be set to 30. Add one more state and write 4 minutes. The start and end value should be set to 240. Finally, we'll connect the analog numerics objects to tags. The first one we will connect to the min tag. The second one will be connected to the max tag. The min, max, and time span tags will need to have initial values. Let's set the min tag's initial value to 0 and set the max tag's initial value to 100. We'll set the time span tag to an initial value of 240. The application is simulated by clicking on the green run icon. We simulate that the tank level is increasing and decreasing. 
This is logged by the data logger and can be seen in the trend viewer. The valve is opened and closed. This is also logged by the data logger. When jumping to the trend viewer screen, we can see that the tank level and valve's historical values are plotted. By clicking on the history button, the operator can look at the historical data. When the play button is clicked, the trend viewer will present the most recently collected data. When we click on the magnify button, a legend will appear on the screen. The legend presents the curve's values. When moving the cursor, the values update accordingly. Finally, we can zoom in and out by changing the values in the analog numeric objects. The trend viewer's time span can be changed by using the combo box.